Uh, thank you uh, for joining us uh, today. Uh, my name is Gavin Dapper. Uh, I'm here to tell the story about uh, Foamblocks. Foamblocks started about uh, a year ago. And uh, so it all started with uh, this guy, Dave. Uh, Dave had a problem. He had a camera, and his camera was broken. So what do you do if your camera breaks? Well, you decide to fix it. So uh, he found out there was a really, really tiny part that was broken. So he called the manufacturer and he asked them to send the part. So guess what the response was? Buy a new one. So this happens all the time, especially with things we use a lot. So something we use daily is our mobile phone. We have a lot of mobile phones. Actually, there are over 1.8 billion mobile phones produced every year. So that's a lot. On average, a phone only lasts for two and a half years, and then we throw it away. So if you look at recycling of mobile phones, only 250,000 mobile phones are recycled every day. So what does it tell us? It tells us that only 5% is recycled. So if you compare this to computers, over 40% of all computers are recycled. And mobile phones, we have a lot more, and only 5% is recycled. So this is a huge problem. Why is this a problem? Well, first, sustainability, because, well, it's not very sustainable to throw away everything. On the other hand, we're running out of resources. So we really have a problem with our resources if we keep on doing this. So we set out to reinvent the phone. So this is a new kind of phone. It's made of blocks. Detachable blocks. They are all connected to the base, and the base connects everything together. Electrical signals are transferred through the pins, and two small screws lock everything in place. So if, for instance, your phone is getting a little slow, you can just upgrade the block that affects the speed. Or if something breaks, you can easily replace it with a new one, or update it with the latest version. So, this is a small part of a longer video. Uh, we posted this online, and uh, thanks to Reddit, within 24 hours, it was shared uh, over a million, it was viewed over a million times on YouTube. Um, so we created a social campaign where people could share a, a message. And actually, uh, that was shared a lot. It was shared over a million times on Facebook and Twitter, uh, giving us a social reach of 380 million people. So 380 million people actually saw our message, which is actually a lot. Um, this started a, a really discussion because, well, for us, this was first just a concept, something we want to, uh, wanted to show the world. Um, a lot of companies contacted us. Uh, so actually, I think almost every single company in the telecom industry contacted us. So within uh, three weeks, we had over 5,000 emails. So we had a lot of reading to do. Um, so we started a lot of discussions. The only two companies that didn't contact us were uh, Apple and Samsung. No idea why. <laughs> so OK. But there was also one really, really interesting company that contacted us, um, and that was Google. Um, so we had a lot of discussions with Google and uh, soon found out that we have got a quite a similar vision about a uh, mobile phone. So uh, what we wanted to do is we wanted to create an open platform that's fully open source so that everybody can contribute to it. And uh, Google actually had the, the same idea. So this is Project Ara. So it's a little bit different from the thing we designed, but it's still the same concept. Um, it has tiny blocks on the back that you can slide in and slide out. And they're magnetic, and actually they lock in. So uh, they change voltage on the state. So therefore, if you drop it, it will not fall out, because it's really powerful magnetic. Um, for us, and actually for, for me personally, this is not about making a simple phone. It's about opening up a whole new market. Uh, opening up a market to developers to actually contribute to your phone. Up until now, it was very, very hard to actually make your own phone. But if you could make a small part for some application that you would like to have, 
that was really, really, really easy, um, or at least a lot easier to, uh, to, uh, to do. So um, we started with this. This is just simply uh, also a concept and a, and a demo. Uh, from there, we went to this. So what is this? This is an Android developer board. Uh, on this, you can test all, your, uh, all, your, all the stuff we made. Uh, what you see on the picture right now is uh, the component that actually locks the magnetic uh, pieces in place. Um, so from there, we went, went on uh, developing the, this whole new concept. Um, and actually, I think it was two weeks ago, it was a year ago that we, uh, that we started this. So this is like phone blocks one year. Um, and today I have something very special uh, I want to show you, something that isn't published yet. Um, it's a small video that we made last week uh, in Boston. Start audio. Great stuff. All right. So, that guy is uh, Ara, and uh, actually the project is named after him, and for me this is really beautiful. I mean, a year ago everybody called us fools, saying it's not, no way possible to do this, and you're an idiot, and um, well, a year later we have a, a mobile phone that actually works, uh, you can hot swap the blocks, uh, which took a lot of work, because well, if you hot swap a, a block out of a phone, imagine it uh, crashing immediately, uh, because well, Android is not developed to actually hot swap compartments. Um, so that was a, a really cool that we now have actually a working phone, um, which for us was a really big step. Um, we hope to have uh, it released somewhere in Q1, maybe Q2 next year. Um, it will be for us only a prototype. So it will not be ma mass produced, so it will be a small set of uh, devices that will be used, uh, mainly targeted at developers. Um, what is this is that what Android and iOS did for software, we want to do together with Google for hardware. So we want to open up the whole space. Um, that's the reason why we're only making a prototype. Um, so yeah, that's basically a, uh, our bootable device, which I think is really exciting. Um, so for us, foam locks is more about changing the whole industry because there's still a lot of e-waste, and that's something that we, are, that we want to change. So for us, it's only starting with a phone and then showing the world it's possible to do this. And then from there, we like to change like almost every industry. So it's an ambitious plan, but we have to start somewhere. Um, so yeah, that's basically uh, phone blocks right now. Um, this wouldn't be possible without our, uh, our community. And we have a really large community, and uh, almost 25,000 uh, uh, mainly developers uh, who are uh, on our community, who uh, contribute every day on creating new ideas and cool stuff. So thank you to all the developers who were helping us out. Um, and in the end, uh, for us, it's also volunteering. So um, we do all this on a volunteering basis. So also, I'm doing this as a volunteering basis next to my day job. Um, together with the guys, the other guys from Foamblocks, and of course the whole community. And um, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, I would all uh, like to invite you to join us at foamblocks.com. Thank you. Okay. Usually I have uh, a lot of questions, so uh, I'll be uh, in the back uh, in the break. So if you have any questions, please come over and, uh, and do any questions. Okay, thank you.